Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about object-oriented programming in PHP and specifically constructors. Now, we've already looked at um, we've already looked at the basics of classes, methods, properties, extending uh, extending classes, and um, also using constants. So these constructors um, that I talk about now. Uh, is, is, is basically a, um, a method inside of your class that will automatically run uh, when you um, initiate a new instance of your class. So let's go ahead and create an example. So I'm going to create a class called example and inside here I'm not going to have any properties I'm just going to have um, a method and this method is going to be sorry um, public function say something okay and inside of here we're going to echo something so you already know that if we were to come down here and create a new instance of our class by using new example like that about the uh, princess so we've created our class example we've created a method called say something which says uh, something literally um, we've created a new instance of our um, of our class and we refresh nothing's actually going to happen because what we haven't done is we haven't said example say something like that so let's refresh and see and it says oh no okay say something okay yes yeah, sorry I haven't uh, included the greater than sign there let's refresh and it says something now what happens uh, for one or more reason if you want this method or some uh, predefined, um, you know, a predefined block of code to run as soon as you initiate or um, create a new instance of your class. So at the moment, when we just create a new instance of the class, nothing happens. Now we use something called the construct. Now construct works the same way as if you were declaring a method, although you write it like this. So we've got public function, then we have two underscores, so you've got two underscores there, and then just construct. See that's turned blue, my uh, text editor has turned that blue, and then we just put two parentheses on, and um, we put a block in there as well. Now the construct can take arguments, so you can take arguments um, through your um, example like this so I'll demonstrate that in just a moment uh, so let's go now and we want to say this say something so what's going to happen now is that as soon as our um, our class is initiated or, or or create a new instance of it here we're going to run whatever's inside this construct so what we're going to do is we're going to be calling the method say something so now that we've just created a new instance of this, let's go and refresh the page. And you can see that we get something. So just by adding this constructor in here, which is called a constructor, we are, um, you know, so, um, we are um, running or calling this method, if you like. So what happens if we want to take in um, um, parameters when we create a new class for whatever reason? We can specify them here. So I'm going to write text. In fact, I'm going to call it something. So in here, this say something, I'm now going to say, say something, um, and I'm going to say something. And in here, I'm going to take a value something, and I'm going to echo out something. So now you can see, when we refresh, um, we've got a, a missing argument um, error, because we haven't defined anything in here. But if I was to define, say, uh, some text here and I refresh you can see how we've passed um, by creating our new our new instance of our object or our class we've passed in this variable here in our constructor because remember this is run as soon as our program or our class is initiated we've passed that to our method say something now we've picked this uh, what's been passed up twice now back into say something and we've echoed it out so this is uh, slightly delving into why it may be useful when you uh, initiate a new um, a new part of your uh, an, or a, a new instance of your class you can use this constructor method to perform a block of code um, that you want it to and remember you can take in arguments as well